pre-K spots are always hard to find on the Upper East Side. Well, now some parents are fearing that the wait lists are already too long for their kids to get a spot for this fall. All right, Zachary Keish spoke with families who are scrambling to figure out a solution. Ariel and his wife Shannon love raising their two young girls on the Upper East Side. It's a stroller neighborhood if you walk around here. There's a ton of young kids. It's easy to see all the youngsters on any given day at St. Catharines Park. But when it comes to access to universal pre-K, there are too many kids for the seats available in their neighborhood. It is a great program, um, but it's not available for everybody. Two years ago, when their oldest daughter Lily was waitlisted, it meant paying for private school. Now, for three-and-a-half-year-old Kate, who will be in pre-K next year, there is space, but it's not close to home. We've been offered a spot all the way downtown at Peck Slip, which is right near the Brooklyn Bridge, uh, the Manhattan side of the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, that's not a practical option. As I said, both my wife and I work. Councilman Ben Callis. We had 2,500 four-year-olds apply for only 515 seats on the Upper East Side. We need more seats for our kids on the East Side. In a statement, the Board of Education said, in part, we work closely with families to nearly quadruple the number of free, full-day, high-quality pre-K seats in this community, and there's still work to do. For this family, having two kids on opposite sides of the city just wasn't practical, and they argue signs like these are misleading. It's not really accurate, unfortunately. It's a, it's a great program. I support it. I'm happy that many kids around the city have access to it, but in this neighborhood, it's, it's not, the, not the case. The family that I talked to said they were able to get support from other family members to pay for that private school pre-K the first time around, and they'll probably have to do it again next year. They also say that this program that's been viewed as widely successful isn't necessarily true or for all children until there's enough seats in the neighborhoods to support the youngsters that live there. Reporting here on the Upper East Side, I'm Zachary Keish.